sometimes use watercolor, acrylics, or coloring pencils. So straight away, I'm going to go in with yellow. I know I was using yellow before. So we're going to go in and I haven't got the picture next to me because I just think it's a distraction for you. So I have some pan pastels nearby. So I'm going straight in with a really light yellow color. And I'm going to put that where the yellow head is and where the yellow stripes are of our bumblebee. Now again, I have taken away the color version basically because I just like to make it up as I go along and just see what I can come up with. So I'm using pan pastels here and these are little pans of pastels. They last forever. I mean, they are expensive, don't get me wrong, but once you have bought a set, they probably last you a lifetime, um, depending on how much work you put into your pastels. I mean, I do a bit of everything, so I don't really run out of anything very quickly because I'm always mixing it up. Okay, so that's the first level of the bumblebee body and head i'm thinking now i want a lighter blue for the wings so i'm going to try and mix up on here a lighter blue using my pastels that's nice so now i'm just going to take that lighter blue in now that's not as light as i would have liked so i'm just going to push that round there and i'm going to get some white and just go over the top of it again Let's lighten it up. And for some reason, it's picking up green. Oh, dear. There was some green already on the applicator that I didn't know about. Oh, it was the yellow, wasn't it? Yellow and blue makes green. What I'll do then to correct that. I mean, it's not really that noticeable. In fact, I quite like it. <laughs> this is the joy of art, isn't it? Yeah, we get to play and maybe I'll keep that then. So we'll go get some more of that colour get some more of that white and let's see if we can kind of match it it's a bit dark again to start with but we'll push it in and we'll push it round with some white in a minute now the thing with pastels is that they're really good when you're using those pan pastels in this way for doing your background colors first um we're going to go on to the detail in a minute so yeah i love that i kind of like those colors now we need to blend that in a bit more because otherwise the shapes sticking out too much okay um i'm gonna get some more white Now, I want it to be lighter in the middle and darker on the outside edges, but I don't want it to be too obvious, so I'm trying to blend it round. Now, I don't want to put too many layers down, because we'll end up filling the tooth really quickly. Okay, there we go. So we've got that, and it's, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of melting into the background a bit, which I like. Now we can go in with some other blue colours. I'll get all the blue colours I've got. These are colours that I have in soft pastel pencils, and I absolutely love pastel pencils. Um, let's try this kind of mid blue. And we can... Now you don't want to leave lines like that, but I am actually just playing here. <laughs> Just seeing what happens and this is what i think is missing a bit from youtube is seeing what goes on when you're just thinking and trying things out and i just think that's really important for you to see so i'm just going to come in and blend that round a little bit it's just given uh, the wings a little bit of form i like that and then i'm going to do the same here again that worked well so i'll do it again over here the only way to learn really is just to get everything out and just see what happens and have a go and, and just let your brain make the decisions to be honest what does your brain say try not to think too much just let it happen
Yeah, I like that round the edges. And now we'll blend it in a bit, but not too much. I quite like to see those little lines there. There we go. Okay, so that's for the body part, uh, the the wing. We're now going to go in to do the face. So I'm getting a slightly like an orangey colour, and I'm just going to bring that in at the bottom. I'm just putting some colour down. I'm not being precise about it because I'm just going to use that and blend it in with the yellow that's already there. Make sure I've got the clean applicator. Okay, I'm going to use that and what's already there to try and 3D it a bit. So you can see that darker colour at the bottom has kind of made it come to life a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit more down, maybe in the size. And that will help to bring it look like it's coming round, like it is an actual 3D body. A bit more. You really don't need to put much down once you start smudging it in. Um, better to put less than more is how I work with pastels because you can put on, you can keep putting layers on but once it's on you can't take it off so. there we go now for the middle part I'm going to use some greys rather than black because black is a very strong colour and we know that bumblebee stripes are black but as the light hits it it can to our eyes seem like variations of grey so we'll come in there just mix in that soft grey And then we're going to come in with the darker grey to do what we did with the other yellow stripes and create that feeling of depth of the shape coming round. Right, so we're going to smudge that in. Yeah, I think that's coming up quite nice. So let's find that darker grey again. Where did I just put it? I think, it is. I think I'm going to come in with a bit more definition. I mean, this is just like a fun activity. You can use this for cards. You could use it for um, your sketchbook. Sorry. I find it quite difficult focusing on what I'm doing and chatting. Okay. So I've left those lines quite strong this time. I was quite purposeful about that. I did want some, some obvious separation. So I am I'm going to go in and make that a bit darker because I think it's too light. That light grey just gets into that better. We needed to put some of that darker in the centre as well. Much better. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Of course, we need to draw in some little um, curly whirly antennas. You could use pen for this. You don't need to keep using pastels. Um, a lot of people with pastels come in after with gel pens and things like that. Or liner pens just to put in the detail. There he is. There's his smiley face. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, obviously, you can carry on. You can do different coloured... Um, different coloured... What are they called wings um mustn't forget his little trail where he's been flying and if you want to you can put the patterns in that are on the original drawing but you don't have to it depends how much you want to make it an illustration or make it more real down to you okay
so if you could please subscribe like comment and click the notification bell to hear about when my new videos come out there's going to be lots coming in the future um please don't forget my patreon so you can sign up for a monthly fee and get all of my sheets to download and every single video they won't all be on youtube you get more on the patreon or you can go to my website and download individual sheets that you want to have a go at um but then you might not be able to see the video although some some are on youtube so you maybe want to find the youtube video first and then go onto my website and download the matching sheet so which whichever way it works for you is best there's also um this this has just been released on amazon as a book all of the summer designs so they're all here and all of my sheets that look a bit like this this is a sneak preview of the fairy ones um they look a bit like this so you'll have all of the step by steps there and space to draw and then there are other videos of course showing you how to color in acrylic pencils color pencils pastels and watercolors so hope to see you next time thanks so much for coming along and i hope you enjoyed that activity take care have a good day